It's part 18 of our interview series with Graham Goebel, B. Bertels, Glenn Shorick of the Little River Band, the three main guys who made the core, wrote the majority of the hits for this group. We start with Glenn Shorick. I did a six-week season with Cliff at the London Palladium, the doyen of show business in London. And uh, uh, we came off after a successful opening night and the management said, that was fantastic, Glenn. You, you did well, but Glenn, it's, it's Cliff's show. <laughs> I was out there, hey, hey, da, 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 you know, doing my thing. Hey, just hold back for me, you know, that sort of thing. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's amazing. It was in you. I mean, it was in you, right? I mean. Yeah, yeah. the ham. The ham's in me all the time. I could, I, Gets me into trouble a lot too. Wait, um, go ahead. But Cliff and I, I, I don't see him much very often these days. But he, when he comes down, we, we always connect and we always laugh about that time. And he, he always says to me, "You showed me some great moves." And I said, "Yeah, well, I had to stop doing those great moves because it was uh, interrupting your uh, your moves." So. Dylan came up, and I, I'm doing a whole series on Dylan. Is it really true people were saying, yeah, he's a good writer, but he's got a really strange voice. But we saw through that, and then we got to appreciate his voice. What was your reaction when you first heard him? Same thing. You know, it's a strange voice. But then I listened to what he was singing. Uh, you didn't listen to Womp, Bump, Baloo, Womp, Balomp, Bamboo, and, and you know, get into the lyric, did you? No. You got up and danced to it. That's that's what we did. It was rock and roll was a dance craze. That, but Dylan made uh, made poetry, made it uh, important, made it political, um, and the Beatles caught onto that as well. And but they took it an even step further and <clears throat> made all those cathedral songs rather than little church hall songs. They were cathedral guys. You know what I'm saying? I've never heard that term before. I've just thought of it. <laughs> Knowing what you know now, what would you have told yourself, for instance, uh, hey, when you were in the Twilights, what would you have told yourself knowing what you know now? Oh, I probably would have said, uh, you're looking good, kid. Looks, looks, looks all right. Keep going. <laughs> now I say to people, younger people who come to me and ask that sort of question now, uh, Patience, perseverance, and passion, the three Ps, is a nice way to put it, encapsulate it. You could use that if you like. Um, and, um, you know, uh, don't spend the money too, too quickly because you never know when, it, when you might need it. The problem with that, though, is, again, I was talking about the Eagles today with, with, with Jack. He said, hey, man, we fought like – they all fought, but let's remember – that's a 20-year-old kid getting a lot of fame. And, you know, the fans who like to – fans can be very negative sometimes. They're going after him going – I always ask fans, I'm going, what would you have done if you were 25, like Justin Bieber or something, and you would be given that much money and fame? How do you think that would affect you? I mean, it's a hard thing. That It sounds like an ideal world, but that's a lot. Uh, indeed, and I, I was lucky in that respect as well. You know, I had success early. Um, with my band, The Twilights, but that was relative to uh, the Australian music scene at that time. So, you know, we were making $200, $300, $500 a, a week, and that was big money at, at, at that stage. Um, but then the business really took off, didn't it? I mean, really things started to happen. Um, records were selling in the tens of millions during the 70s and 80s, and now not, not so much. I want to thank the guys for coming on and talking to us. There's a reason why this series was 18 clips long. They've gone through some really tough times. We all know the story about them losing their name and having more or less an American version of the Little River Band performing their songs. There's a resurgence for those old songs. A resurgence for wanting to have Graham Goble, B. Bertels, and Glenn Shorick on the same stage at the same time. 
I want to thank the guys for talking to us. Make sure you comment on our videos, subscribe to our channel, and share our videos. I'm John Bowden from Rocky Stream Music. Take care of yourself.